Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about the Vampire Diaries, episode number nine, the simple intimacy the simple intimacies of a near touch. In this episode here we have Stefan and Damien. Um still killing people, but mostly Stefan now, because Stefan has gone full ripper, he's gone full crazy, and he's enjoying his new job. But Damien, on the other hand, he was having fun, but he's conflicted because even though he's cut off his his humanity, his connection and his bond to Elena is still growing strong. And you have Sybil, who has been trying to break that bond. Well, she has failed. And she tries it again here in this episode right here. And she, and she, and she learns that, well, it's not going to happen. Yeah. And then you have Caroline. Caroline, who's supposed to marry Stefan after he after this year of him going around killing people, he's supposed to turn back on his humanity. They supposed to get back together and be married. Well, she, 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 right now, so she's waiting on Stefan. She is hosting and running the Mist, uh, Mystic Falls pageant. Happens every year. And now she's in charge. She's running the show. But Sybil and Stefan have other plans. Yes. And then you have Bonnie and Lorenzo. They're back in town. And they're in love, they're happy, but Lorenzo is scared because he, he knows that Bonnie is going to die one day or get killed by something. So he, so he wants to turn Bonnie into a vampire. So they're dealing with that in, in this episode right here. And then you have da um, D D D Dor Dorian, you have Celine, and you have Matt. Now, Celine wants to get this bell. But also her sister Sybil also wants the bell. Now, what do these two want to do with the bell? I don't know. Because even though they're sisters, they not by blood, but they um but they um act totally different. Because you have Sybil who pretty much embraces her evil. She she's evil, she knows she's evil, and she just wanna cut loose and do whatever she wants. But then you have Celine, who's also evil. She's evil as well. But she acts like she's the innocent one and very sweet and very kind. And she tries to manipulate you to doing what she wants you to do. And then by the time you finally get on board with her, she reveals to you how evil she is. And says, oh, crap, I fell for it. Now, I don't know what these two girls want to do with this bell. But whatever they want to do, I know it's not going to be good. And they're trying to get, and Sybil is trying to get Damon to get the pieces for this bell. And Celine is trying to get um, Dorian and Matt to get the pieces for this bell. So both, so both sides are trying to get this bell from each other. And you have Caroline and you have um, Lorenzo and Bonnie caught in the middle of this. Because Lorenzo was working for Sybil at one time, but now he's free. So the only person he's caring about right now is Bonnie and making sure she's safe. And knowing that she's just pure mortal now and she has no, no um, witch powers and she's not going to become a vampire, well, that's just freaking him out. I think it was a pretty good episode. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. It's always fun to see Stefan play the bad guy. Because you just you realize when he's the Ripper, just how evil he really is. Because Damon likes to act like he's the um the, the tough guy and he's the bad guy and he's the big bad wolf. But he's not really the tough guy, really. He's the, the softy. He's the softy. And the only reason why he acts that way is to cover the fact he's a softy. But when Stefan reveals his truer nature. It's a scary thought because he really does not give a rat's behind about anything. Now, I know his humanity is cut off too, but even when his humanity was on, he was a ripper. He was, he's, oh, it was rough. See, watching this show sometimes it reminds me a lot about, it reminds me of Buffy and Angel. Because you have Angel and you have Spike. And Angel, or Angelus, he's more like Stefan. He, he feels sorry for all, all the bad things he did, and he tried to atone. He atoned for this by becoming a hero, just like Stefan tries to do. He, he he did a lot of bad things in the past, and he tried to atone. But when he turns evil, oh, you better watch out because he's going to be killing a lot of people. And his thinking, the way Stefan thinks, how he's going to corrupt people to do bad things is just so. So insane, but it's so genius at the same time. And every time he's on scene, every time he's on the screen. Every time you see Paul Wesley on the screen as Stefan and his evil and his, as his evil self, it's just fun to watch. I mean, I always enjoyed watching Damon on the screen. 
because he, he, he's very charming and very funny. Even when he's being evil, he, he, he comes out very likable. But when Stefan's evil, you don't like him at all. I mean, it's, it's just fun to watch, to watch him just because he's crazy. And I, I said it before, I, I'm enjoying this whole um, Sirens um, battling each other. And the Sirens as the, um, as the um, evil bad guys on, in the series so far. Because I'm, I'm enjoying the performance from... Um, now, I'm saying uh, Natalie um, Kelly, she plays Sybil. I'm really enjoying her. Every time she, I, I like her on screen. And I like her relationship she has with um, Damon when, they, when they're going back and forth between one another. So, this episode was, was dark, of course. Messed up, as always. Because Stefan does some things in this, in this episode that's really messed up. Now, I don't know how he's going to turn himself around. Because I, I can't see how this was to turn around to have a happy ending at the end. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. But for now, I'm enjoying the ride. How it's going to end up, I don't know. But I like to see how we, how, how it's going to get to this point right here, to the end point in time. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Vampire Diaries. And if you haven't watched the Vampire Diaries, I said check it out for yourself. Hopefully you will enjoy it because I am enjoying this series. I don't have a whole lot of fun watching it. This is the last season of the series. So, I'm going to enjoy it to the bitter end. So, that's all I got to say about that. So, give my channel a little like if it comes up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I would really appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams and in life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.